pivot charts. A pivot chart is like a pivot table in that it summarizes the data from a worksheet. However, where a pivot table is simply a table with data listed in it, a pivot chart is a graphical representation of the data. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to create a pivot chart, change the fields in a pivot chart, format a pivot chart, change the type of a pivot chart, add filters to a pivot chart, hide the buttons in a pivot chart, moving and deleting a pivot chart. To create a pivot chart, go to the Insert tab, and then look inside the Charts group. Here you can see recommended charts, graphical representations of the types of charts you can add, as well as the Pivot Chart button. Click the Pivot Chart drop-down to display the menu, and then click Pivot Charts again. You'll then see the Create Pivot Chart dialog box. The range of cells should already be filled in for you, just as it was with pivot tables. Also, just as with pivot tables, you can decide if you want to place your chart in a new worksheet or an existing one. We're going to choose a new worksheet. Click OK. We can now start building our pivot chart. Just as with pivot tables, we're going to go to the pivot chart fields panel on the right to design our pivot chart. Drag and drop the fields from the top section of the panel into the sections located in the bottom half of the panel. These sections are the filters, legend, which is series, axis or categories, and values. The axis is essentially the row and the legend is essentially the column. Let's drag the item into the axis and the price each into the values. We can see our pivot chart in the worksheet. Notice that a pivot table also appears. You can either hide the columns of the pivot table so you cannot see them, or you can move the pivot chart to its own worksheet. To do this, go to the Analyze tab under the Pivot Chart tools. Click the Move Chart button. You'll then see the Move Chart dialog box. Put a check besides New Sheet, then enter the name for the new sheet. Then click on the OK button. The chart then appears in its own worksheet and takes up the full screen. In our current pivot chart, we have the item and the price each field. The item appears across the bottom of the chart. The price of each item is represented by the vertical bars. By looking at the bars, we can tell the board game and the electronic game are our most expensive item. If we want to change the fields that are displayed, or add more fields, we can go to the pivot chart fields panel on the right. To remove a field, drag the field from the bottom half of the panel to the top half. To add a new field, drag for the field from the top half of the panel to the bottom half. Drop it in the section that you want it to appear in. To format a pivot chart, you'll use the two buttons that appear at the top right corner of the pivot chart. These ones here. Click on the button with the paintbrush to choose a style and colour for the bars in your chart. As you can see, when you click on the Style tab, you can pick a style. Click on the Colour tab to pick a colour. Select a row of colours to pick a colour scheme. Once you close the window, your pivot chart will be updated. Now let's click the button with the plus sign on it. This shows you the available chart elements. The chart elements that you're using have check marks beside them. Put a check mark beside any element that you want to add to your pivot chart. Uncheck any elements that are currently checked, but you want to remove. When you're finished, click the button with a plus sign again to close the window. The bar chart is the default pivot chart layout. However, you can easily change the pivot chart type once you've created your pivot chart. To change the chart type, click on the pivot chart so it's active. Click on the Design tab under the Pivot Chart Tools. Then click on Change Chart Type button. You'll then see the Change Chart Type dialog box. On the left side of this dialog box, you'll see different types of charts that you can use. Click on one of those. We're going to click on Pi. On the top right side of the dialog box, you'll see the graphical representations of different pie charts that you can add. Below this, you'll see a thumbnail of the image of how your chart will look. We don't see anything here that we want to use, so we're going to click Line on the left. Once you find the chart that you want to use, click OK. 
Now we have a new chart type, we may want to format it. We're going to click on the plus button and remove the data labels element. However, when we do this, we won't be able to see the actual prices anymore. So I'm going to add a data table element. Filtering data on pivot charts is almost just the same as filtering data in pivot tables. Let's learn how to do it. Our pivot chart is shown here. Currently our chart shows us all of the items we've listed, but we might not want all of those items shown in our cart. To filter the data and determine what items are displayed, click the item button in the lower left corner. Naturally, you may not have a field named item in your chart, so you just click the button in the lower left hand corner of your chart. When we click the button, this is what we'll see. You can see check marks besides all of our items. Uncheck the items that you do not want to appear in the chart. Click OK when you're finished. As you can see, some items have been filtered out of our chart. If you look at the item button in the lower left hand corner, you'll see a filter icon to let us know that the data has been filtered. We can use the item button to sort our items alphabetically, either ascending or descending. Click on the button. Choose sort A to Z or sort Z to A. You can also click more sort options to sort by values. That said, you may want to filter the data in your chart by fields that do not appear in the chart. We did this with pivot tables. To do this, go to the pivot chart fields panel on the right. Drag the field that you want to use to filter your data into the filter section into the bottom half of the panel. Let's choose the date received column. Now go back to your chart. Click the date received button or the button for the field that you're using to filter the data located at the top left of the chart. Choose how you want to filter your data. We're going to filter by all products received in March. To do this, we'll need to click on select multiple items and then deselect anything that was not in March. Then click OK. You can see how our chart has been updated now. Take a look at this pivot chart here, which I've changed back to the bar graph. As you can see, we have several buttons visible, such as the item and date received buttons. These buttons are fine when we're working with the chart. However, if we wanted to print the chart, we might not want those buttons to show. If you don't want the buttons to show when the chart is printed, it's a good idea to hide them. To hide the buttons, go to the Analyze tab in the Pivot Chart Tools and click on the Field Buttons drop down menu in the Show Hide group. You can choose which buttons you want to hide by placing a check mark beside them, or you can select Hide All to remove all the buttons. Just as with pivot tables, we can also move pivot charts. To move a pivot chart, select the pivot chart, then go to the Analyze tab and click on the Move Chart button. You can choose to move the pivot chart to a new sheet, or you can move it to another sheet within the workbook. Click OK when you're finished. To delete a pivot chart, First select the pivot chart that you want to delete and then press delete on your keyboard. If the pivot chart is the only thing on your worksheet, you need to delete the entire worksheet. Right click on the worksheet down here and click on delete. Then click the delete button. The pivot chart is now deleted.